Hi there, chicken nuggets. I'm Carl. And I'm Andy. And welcome to Grow TV. <laughs> Subscribe, like, smash that like button. Share. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Subscribe. Subs <laughs> Sound effect. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Bah, 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 bah. Air horns. Subscribe. <laughs> now. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV! Hey everybody, it's good to see you. For those who haven't met my good friend, this is Andy. Say hello, Andy. Hello, Andy. Just, just, say, just say hello. Hello. Just hello. Okay, just, just repeat after me. After me. Um, anyways, welcome Andy to Grow TV. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm actually Carl's assistant, make sure he gets fed, gets all of his naps, and I actually file his taxes, so. What are taxes? That's what I thought. So Andy, you are not gonna believe what I lost over the weekend. Your toothbrush. No, you know I lost that last weekend. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, was it your lucky horse head? Nope. Don't go anywhere without that. <laughs> Was it your pride? No way, Jose. Still got it. Then I'm lost. What did you lose? My glasses. I lost my glasses. Your what? My glasses. You know, spectacles. The things I wear every day that help me see th stuff that I normally can't see without them. So that must be really rough then. So you can't see anything at all? And that's the weird thing. Even though I lost them, I can still see everything really clear. That is really strange. Yeah. Um, real quick, you have uh, something on your nose just right there. I don't, I don't feel anything. Did I get it? No, the other side. It's uh, you know, still, you gotta, no, over to the right, down a little bit. On your, it's on your, it's right, kinda, yeah, dig deeper. Yeah, no, okay. I think, right. I, think you not, got, I think you got it. I I'm think, not paying me. Yeah, I think you got it. Is it? Nope, you got oh. it, you got it. All right. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> they were on my face the whole time. Silly me. <laughs> they were on my face this whole time. Who would have thought? <laughs> not me. And that was kind of like the people back in Jesus' time. What do you mean? Like the Bible? Yeah, you remember the time when Jesus came to earth and there was a man named John? John the Baptist? He was the guy that ate honey and locusts, right? Yes, sir. He was actually a really good man who loved Jesus and told everyone about Jesus. Wait a minute. He couldn't have told people about Jesus because Jesus hadn't begun doing God's work yet. That's true, but everyone back then knew that God was going to send a Messiah, a Savior, to come down to earth and help us. And John knew that person was Jesus. Wow! How exciting must that have been for everyone? And imagine how they felt seeing Jesus for the first time. Well, to be honest, not a lot of people were excited. What? Why? It was Jesus. He was the savior of the world. Yeah, but so many people were expecting someone different. And so when they met Jesus, they were really disappointed. And some were even really angry. Wow, that's crazy. And didn't some people think that John was a savior? They sure did. But John told them that someone better was coming and that someone was Jesus. So John told them about Jesus. Then Jesus shows up, just like God said he would. And then everyone listened to Jesus, right? Some did, yeah. Jesus became very, very popular. But like I said, some people didn't trust Jesus and what he was saying. Wait, these people didn't want to learn about God? No, they did. And I don't get it. These people wanted to learn about God, but Jesus was right in front of them. Were they blind? No, they weren't blind, but it's this kind of like what happened to you with your glasses. See, you had your glasses in your hands and on your nose in front of you the whole time. The same thing happened to the people back then. They wanted the Messiah. So when Jesus, the promised savior, actually shows up, they had a hard time seeing that he was the real thing. Wow, I guess that's a good lesson. What do you mean? Well, sometimes God gives us what we don't expect. Absolutely, and it tells us in Ephesians 1 that Jesus came down to give us grace freely. And not only that, but forgiveness and unconditional love, which only comes from God. It goes to show that we can know God through Jesus. Whoa, that's our big idea, Andy. Today's big idea is we can know God through Jesus. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. three. We can know God through Jesus! <laughs> okay, please stop. So I'll be honest, I learned a lot today. What about you? 
I sure did. And I'm super glad I found my glasses. Now, if I could only find my phone. You lost your phone? I did. You should probably call it. You think? That's yeah. probably the best thing yeah, to do, isn't it? You can hear it ring. Hey Siri, call Carl. Hey Siri, call Carl. Have a wonderful week, kids. We'll see you next time. He, it's not ringing. It's just keep trying. It, that's a weird noise. Yeah. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Follow him, I will trust in Jesus Christ.